Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the United Nations Project Office on Governance, I would like to welcome you all to Seoul, Korea, and to the Conference on E-Government in Asia and the Pacific. First of all, I would like to thank the Ministry of Public Administration and Security of the Republic of Korea, the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs, and the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific for making this conference possible. I would like to express my deep gratitude to our distinguished panel of speakers, experts, and practitioners who represent different parts of the region for kindly lending their time to share valuable expertise, insights, and wisdom with us. Over the course of this three-day program, we will address significant issues such as the state of e-government development in the Asia-Pacific region, institutional, legal, and regulatory framework, e-government experiences in different countries of the region, an introduction to the United Nations Public Administration Country Studies Research Portal, and e-government country briefs of potential to for capacity development. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are living in a world where electronic processes dominate our everyday lives. We communicate through e-channels, do business through e-transaction, deliver services by e-procedures such as e-learning and e-shopping. Without electronic mechanism at play, our socioeconomic activities can hardly develop and our government cannot function and perform properly. E-government has become the order of the day because e-government stands not only for electronic governance, government, but also for something more important. E-government promotes efficient government. E-government promises effective government. E-government prompts economical government. E-government present enhanced government. E-government actually provide efficiency, effectiveness, economy, and enhancement with the government. In this juncture, I believe it is a timely opportunity for CIOs and major stakeholders in the region to gather together for the first time to discuss the challenges, to explore the opportunities, to share the knowledge, to network amongst ourselves, to cooperate bilaterally and multilaterally in this area for the benefit of our citizen. Distinguished participant, governance is a new paradigm of our times. We can also advance good governance through good government. We can bring about good government through e-government. We can upgrade e-government through our passion and vision. Some may say that we have limitations, public servant, often say that our politicians do not fully understand the merits of e-government and that 
our citizens' interest in e-government systems and operations may not be high, and that our infrastructures do not ensure successful implementation. Only the courageous can make a difference. Hesitation, doubt, skepticism, and passivity will not bring progress in our endeavor. In this regard, this conference calls for our enlightenment and encouragement and engagement. However, e-government is not a panacea. It is not the only way to improve the quality of government nor lives of our people. But e-government is the best tool available to achieve our common aspiration for national development and global prosperity ensuring the most cost-effective means and democratic process. Through e-government, we can also contribute to Millennium Development Goals, and we can help in dealing with current problems such as climate change, natural disasters, and other global issues. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to innovate our way of life, innovate our conventional way of thinking, and conformist manner of work. Three days of conference may be short, but the days following are long and sufficient in time for you to change your workplace, your community, and your government. As a public servant, I have worked more than three decades in government. In retrospect, I came to realize that my service to the government has been rewarding me not by a monetary compensation, or privileges, but by recognition and sense of accomplishment. I wish you every success, productive outcome, and inspirational moment during the conference. Thank you.